Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ari from Endermed School. Today we are going to solve question number 25 of IMAT 2019. And I think this question is a very good example of the questions of the IMAT because it forces you to actually think outside of the box. When you hear a question about photosynthesis or plants, for example, you immediately think about photosynthesis. But you should always remember that the, metaboli the metabolism of a species is happening all over and in every cell of the specific species. What do I mean by that? When you have the photosynthesis that occur in the chloroplast, for example, let's say this is uh, the chloroplast, and inside you have the stroma. Let's take it outside so it won't disrupt our uh, diagram. And we have thylakoids, and many thylakoids gives you, <coughs> and many thylakoids give you a granum which is just a stack of thylakoids, basically. You have two membranes, and using the power of the sun, you take water, and in a process of photosynthesis, using the power of the sun, you will finally get oxygen outside. But this entire process, which is also called the light-dependent, because we are obviously need the power of the sun to generate this electrochemical gradient inside the thylakoid in order to favor the movement of protons inside the ATP synthesis of the plant, the same way it occurs in the mitochondria. But why do we need this energy? Basically, you have in the stroma itself, in the you can say the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, but I'm not sure which is the right term to use, so it is called the stroma. You have something called the Kelvin cycle. The Kelvin cycle is basically a cycle that uses many carbon dioxide molecules in order to incorporate them with one another and to create carbs. We will use those carbs for two main things. One of them is to make cellulose, for example, which is the building block of the plant. The other very important is actually when you don't have the sun and you can generate energy from the sun, you will use and you will have to, of course, keep the metabolism of the plant in another way. The way to do it is actually to eat up, you can say, in simple words, those carbs. The metabolism of those carbs will release carbon dioxide. You can go in depth and to know the actual metabolic pathway, but if you want to be very high yield for the IMAT, you should know that using carbohydrates in the Krebs cycle, for example, of the mitochondria, will generate carbon dioxide as a metabolic waste. But for the plant, it's not metabolic waste, because this carbon dioxide that actually occurs due to the fact it is released from different metabolic pathway can be reused into the Kelvin cycle. And the reason I think this question is so good for the IMAT and to understand the concept of the IMAT, because when you see the questions about plants, you immediately think about this specific chloroplast and this specific Kelvin cycle and light dependent cycles. But you should always remember that the IMAT exam is not a very straightforward exam. It's more an exam that tests you about how you understand the entire concept and you think outside of the box. So if you see a question about photosynthesis, just try to have an idea inside your head for the entire metabolic pathway and not just inside the chloroplast, if you understand what I'm saying. So basically, you so basically, you just need to think about other processes that occurs outside of the question you're being asked about. So if we are going to solve this question, car carbon dioxide is produced always because the plant is always using the energy source we gave it. So if we are going to talk about the process of photosynthesis in a nutshell, the energy you get from the thylakoid process, the photosynthesis, regenerate ATP and, AD and NADPH from ADP, turns into ATP, and NADP plus turn into NADPH, and you can use those molecules inside the Kelvin cycle in order to keep generate carbs from carbon dioxide. But if you think specifically about the question, you're not being asked on carb, uh, carbon dioxide being consumed. 
your being asked on carbon dioxide is produced. And as you can see, when we have the metabolic pathway of the plant in general, the entire metabolic pathway, you always have the respiration. And the respiration will always release carbon dioxide to the outside. And of course, the plant, the plant during light reactions, during when you have the sunlight, you can actually use this carbon dioxide that released from the respiration of the plant and incorporate it with one another using the Kelvin cycle that is being regenerated and taking the energy of the Kelvin cycle from the actual light dependent reactions, which is dependent on the sun. So overall, this is a very simple question you should know how to approach to. So this first thing I will do is to just read the question and understand specifically what they are going to, what they are asking you and where they are, they are actually trying to fail you. Because usually photosynthesis questions, you are being asked about the photosynthesis and the metabolic reactions inside the chloroplast. But these questions is obviously asking you about all the processes in general of the plant. So it's a very good question to think outside of the box and to get used to the answer answers. So I wish you the best of luck. I will see you in the next video.